This is a tutorial created for the Tallahassee Apple Users Group. Has this ever happened to you? You have a document or a file on your desktop and you want to load it, transfer it over to your internal hard drive. You drag it over there and you get this alert that you can't do it unless you authenticate. All right. So you click authenticate and now you get another box that says put in your password. This seems to happen every time you want to do this little action. Well let me show you how to bypass this. This works best if you're the only person who's using your computer because you've got several people doing it. You might not want everybody to load things onto your internal hard drive. What you do is you go over, you highlight the hard drive, and then you select Get Info, which is Command I, and you get this box. And you see down at the bottom, there's Sharing and Permission, and telling me right now that only I can only read, I can't write. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little uh, padlock and it asks me for a password to unlock it. You notice now it's unlocked. And what I do is I select the little plus thing here and that tells, gives me the options of who I want to, to give additional privileges to. In this case, the name of the user at this particular account is Tallahassee Apple Users. I select it and it appears here as the word, the short name T Apple. Now, presently, it, it's a read only. If I click this, now I can read and write. I lock it up again for security purposes. I close this little box. And now, when I drag this file on top of my hard drive, I don't get the nagging thing that I have to authenticate and add my password. If you have any problems with this, speak to one of your friendly T Apple members.